you so much for saying hi. I'm sorry if your photo isn't in this video, but please send it to an email so I can pop it in one. I'll make a quick video recap vlog thing about VidCon as well, and I'll share it with you guys later on. Also, while I've been in town, I had the pleasure of stopping past the Wong Fu Productions film set, which was so impressive, as they are themselves, of course. One of them cut my hair off in the Land 10, so I can be part of your group. That's not crazy. And also, thank you to the Five Brothers, who was so wonderful and had me along for a film. I apologize that I have no feelings and that I'm not very uh, emotional, but I look forward to it. Thank you guys so much again for having me along. You're very inspiring and impressive. And I also got to film a podcast with Rhett and Link, which is so exciting because they are awesome. Also, wow, you do a lot when you leave your bedroom for a few days. I'll tell you guys that. Anyway, also thank you to you guys for your comments on my last video, which was about the tedious task of having to share food when you're boring. I know, hard-hitting stuff. Anyway, I've spoken a lot past minute, so I'm going to go now. But I hope you guys are well, and I will see you in a week, which is Wednesday from the Asian Pacific region. Tune to everyone else, and I hope you're well until then. Bye. Okay, hey, it's calling music slash comment time, and yes, I apologize. My channel is pretty much ridden with first world problems, one of which is that very few of you seem to know what an egg cup holder is, which is positively barbaric. And thank you, Judy. I put a lot of effort in to make sure it is. You're gonna love it. I speak like a horrible accent. Hi! So you know what's always stressful? When you offer your friends sweets or lollies and they hold out their hands because then, boom, the pressure's on. Because there is no way to win this situation. You either have to be the weirdo who shakes the packet really cautiously to make sure they get... Just... Yeah. Or you tip the packet and then it's pretty much like they've won at the slot machine. bittersweet situation because while I had originally planned to eat the entire packet alone while googling photos of celebrity homes, walk in wardrobe, nice. I now look pretty cool because my friend thinks I'm super generous. There's way too much, thanks. When in reality, trust, yeah. Which got me thinking, have I been doing it wrong all these years because maybe this is how I should ask people to serve me food because they always get really judgy when they tell me to say when. Hey Nat, how much cake do you want? Um, okay, tell me when, alright? Seriously? But if I pulled off a little bit of this action... Hey Nat, how much cake do you want? Um, you know what? Just pour it into my hands. Why didn't you just tell me how much just you pour it?